Hello, I'm Edward and welcome to WindowsReport.com. In this video, I will show you what to do when the Xbox Console Companion app is not working. This type of app is a companion app for the Xbox game consoles, providing access to Xbox Live community features, remote control and as well second screen functionality with selected games, applications and content. But when Xbox Console Companion app is not working, the user is prevented from messaging or seeing its recent activities. There are a few solutions to tackle, so let's take a look at how to fix this issue in no time. For a more detailed explanation and even more solutions, please check the article in the description below. The first solution is running Windows Apps Troubleshooter. To do that, just click the Start button in the lower left corner and then click the Settings button. Then go to Update and Security. Afterwards, open the Troubleshoot tab from the left pane. And if you don't see any troubleshooting options, then click the additional Troubleshooters link. Scroll down and click on Windows Store Apps. Then click the Troubleshooter button. The Troubleshooter will show some troubleshooting steps to fix the issue. Just follow the on-screen instructions. Once the fixes are applied, close the Troubleshooter, open the Xbox Console Companion app and check if it works again. This is a simple solution, but it might come in handy if Xbox Console Companion is not working. Another useful solution could be resetting the Xbox Console Companion. To do that, just press the Start button in the lower left corner and then type Apps and Features. Then click Apps and Features. In the following window, just locate the Xbox Console Companion and then click on the app and choose Advanced Options. And scroll down and click the Reset button. Confirm the action by clicking on Reset again. Once done, relaunch the app and check for any improvement. You also have to make sure you have an active Xbox subscription and it is not expired. You can check the remaining subscription on your account by signing into your profile. Next, open the Services and Subscription tab. Another great solution is re-registering the Xbox Console Companion app. To do that, just right-click the Start button in the lower left corner and then select Windows PowerShell as an admin from the list of options. In the PowerShell window, just enter the following command and then hit Enter to execute. Wait for the command to execute and then restart your PC. After the restart, launch the Xbox Console Companion app and check for any improvements. You can also try reinstalling the Xbox app. To do that, just right-click the Start button in the lower left corner and then select Windows PowerShell as an admin from the list of options. In the PowerShell window, just enter the following command and then hit Enter to execute. After the app is uninstalled, just close the PowerShell window. Then open Microsoft Store from your desktop. Search for the Xbox app and click on Install. Once installed, launch the app and check if the Xbox Console Companion app not working issue is resolved. And lastly, you can also perform a clean boot to eliminate any third-party software conflict. You can do that by clicking the Start button in the lower left corner and writing msconfig. Then just click on System Configuration or press Enter. From System Configuration, navigate to the Services tab, check Hide All Microsoft Services and click Disable All. Then navigate to the Startup tab and click Open Task Manager. Right-click the first entry on the list, choose Disable from the menu. Do this for all entries on the list. Then return to System Configuration Click Apply and OK to save changes and restart your PC. This is because in clean boot mode, Windows starts with only essential services and disables all third-party programs and services. This will help you determine if an issue is triggered due to a third-party software conflict. After the restart, just launch Xbox Console Companion and check if it is working in the clean boot mode. If it does, you may have third-party software that is preventing the app from functioning correctly. You can also open the control panel and uninstall any app that you may have installed recently. Also, check if your antivirus is blocking the connection to the app. For more information and details, please check the article in the description below.
If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.